so we're here at Arcus. And uh, you're the product manager, or who are you? I am the product manager at Arcos. I'm primarily the product manager on the Gamepad 2 that you all know and love. Which is awesome. Which is awesome. And which is totally like being sold for Christmas, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We uh, got oh. it out in Europe in November and we sold it a lot just before Christmas. It was great. We were run out of stock like three times. You it's wish really cool. you didn't run out of stock. And we huh? wish we didn't run out of stock. Why well, couldn't you just make more? We would love to make more. Okay. But you will figure it out, right? You yeah. Make more. But here's uh, here's the CS collection. What's going yeah, on this here? is a, okay. We're in the um, connected objects area of the Arcos booth, and we're showing off lots of connected objects here this year. Um, so we see connected objects built into three different types. So um, connected self, which is objects around the person. Um, connected home, so information about your home, wherever you are, whenever you are. And last category is smartwatches. So um, let's start easy. Let's go with the uh, connected self stuff. So here we've got a smart tracker. Now this gives information on uh, steps, distance walked, calories burned, um, uh, steps, distance walked, calories burned. Um, here we've got a blood pressure monitor cuff. So stick it on the inside of your wrist. Do you recommend people do this once a week or what? It depends, uh, it depends on what your doctor recommends. So we're talking, uh, some people it's twice a day, three times a and day. And what's cool about this one is just Bluetooth and it goes yeah, to the app. All three of them are Bluetooth. I've got a third one here which is um, scale. So uh, fat body, body mass and fat mass. Fat mass, I need to measure that. <laughs> and what's it called? How much it, each of Okay, these? the activity tracker is sold at uh, $50, the scale is sold at $50, and the blood pressure cuff is sold at $69. Needs a lot more certification than blood pressure cuff. Nice. And, and all three and of certification, them Certification, what does it mean? Is it really going to be certified by yeah. FDA and all these it's people? It's a, a, a medical certification yeah. stuff, yeah. So all three of them are Bluetooth low energy, uh, compatible with uh, any iPhone device after the 4S and any Android device with 4.3 and the Bluetooth stack. Here I've got my app running on my little iPod Touch here and you can see this is my these are actual stats from my product manager so I can see that after Christmas he's uh, a little bit tubby um, and I can see that he was a little bit stressed uh, before CES but not too bad he wasn't in the red and I've got for each of the for each of the elements I can set targets I can share a good way in over Facebook or send it over email to my doctor or whatever. This app looks good. It's uh, it fully functional. It's yet? Uh, it's fully functional. Really? Yeah, it's fully functional. This is true data. Energy, Bluetooth low energy. Just working. Yeah. Synchronized. Yeah. It synchronizes. Each of the objects has a little bit of onboard memory. So if you don't have your phone or your tablet with you when you um, when you go to uh, when you do your weigh in or when you do your blood pressure, then um, it'll keep that it'll keep those stats on board. So and it can sync once a week. So basically, you have all the stuff included there. Everything that's yeah. needed. Everything that's needed for these three. For these. Everything. Everything's done. Cool. Is it the it's same app that stuff. does the other stuff? No, it's a uh, different application. So that was. This what is, is the name of that app? Connected Self. Connected stuff. Self. Connected Arcos self. Connected Self. Arcos Connected Self. Android iOS. Android iOS. All right, what's here? Okay, next up we have the Connected Home. And we're going to start off simple with Connected Home. We're going to talk about this guy. Now this guy is the Arcos Weather Station. I've got a third element that my colleague is going to give okay. me. He's not going to give me. Anyway, this is the Arcos Weather Station. So we've got an indoor part, an outdoor part, and I've got a soil sensor that's in that plant behind us. What is this? It's the weather center. Okay, so each three of all three of them give temperature and humidity for their area. So outside, soil, and inside. The inside one gives um, uh, air pressure. It's just a mock for the moment. Yeah. Um, air pressure. Um, sorry, the soil sensor element of it Whoa. as well. This you put in the in the soil outside. In yeah. the garden. In the garden. Yeah. Cool. So. All three of them give a uh, temperature, humidity for soil outside and inside. The inside one also has air pressure, so barometer. It also has air quality, so CO2 level, and noise level. So it would be wigging out now with the DTS. So why is this one bigger than this one? Okay, this one, ha the 
these two communicate to this one by Bluetooth Low Energy, and this guy has all of the brains inside him. He's communicating by Wi-Fi to your box. He has a little bit of onboard memory as well, so if you lose your internet connection, then he'll um, then he'll keep some memory on board and transfer it up to the cloud when it's ready. And, and you put you batteries in each of these for how long? Uh, batteries in each of those last a few years, a couple of years. A couple of years. You couple just years. put some batteries yeah. and that's it. Yeah. And once it doesn't work anymore, you would come know in the app or something. Yeah, the app gives you information on battery life as well. So it's uploading to the to the cloud, and then that'll go down to an application on iOS and Android tied into also uh, National Weather Service uh, stuff as well. So you can have information on your home weather wherever you are, whenever you are. What's the name of that app? And that is the Arcos Weather application. Arcos Weather, for these Arcos three Arcos Weather, only. for e these three. And what's okay. here? Now the really cool stuff. Really? Yeah, this is really cool. Okay, so what you can see, if, uh, if you pan the camera around, you'll see on the booth around me, I've got, uh, I've got uh, motion detectors up here. I've got a camera up in the corner, I've got a tracker up on the window there, and over here I've got a weather tag, that's my huh? camera over here, on the wall there, and all of these little objects are, all of these little objects are speaking by Bluetooth Low Energy to this tablet, and this is giving me information about my booth in real time. So I've got temperature and humidity on my booth, I've got uh, a photo of my boss presenting this to the French Minister of High Tech. Let's take another photo here so that we can see Sharbax doing our demo. I can see presence on my booth here, I can see when my meeting room doors were open or closed, I can see Didier has been quite busy this morning, and I've got my top lights there plugged into a smart plug and I can turn those on Just and did. off. Do you turn want me to do that again? again? Yeah. 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 Cool. It's for real. And I've also got uh, data coming in on the energy consumption of that plug that's on the back there that those are plugged into. And so there we are. There's me and Sharbax doing our demo. Nice. There he is. Where's my hair? <laughs> <laughs> so, all of these little objects are pushing data into the tablet, and because I paired the tablet to my smartphone, I've also got that data in exactly the same kind of app on here on my Nexus. Real time updated. In Real time updated. I just paired once when I was on the same Wi-Fi network, and I've got the same rooms as I've got on my tablet. I can switch on and off lights. I can see uh, data and go through presence, no presence. Take take photos. Take a little bit of video. Sorry. And what's the name of that? that, that and app. this is the Arcos Smart Home application, and it's available iOS and Android as well. So let's see each of these sensors so, up close. So each of these, uh, let me, uh, uh, let me. Ca so we've got weather sensor, a motion board, weather sensor. So it gives a temperature and humidity. Similar to the other one. Similar to the other one, but miniaturized and only goes through the tablet. The weather, this weather station is completely standalone. Okay, so if if you have this, you don't need this at all. You don't need this. But how about this one? Is nice. We'll come back to that one later. Okay. 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 So uh, temperature and humidity, motion, uh, camera, so pictures and short video. This one is the movement tag, so it detects a split between the two elements and it also detects vibrations. And this is our smart plug. Nice. Okay, they're really easy to pair. So it's, uh, it's stupidly easy to pair. You just uh, choose which object it is, press the button on one, press the button on the tablet, they're paired in a couple of seconds. So there's a button on each of them? There's a button on each of them. So here, where's the button on this the one? The button on this one is just here. So if I press the button, if I press the button. Okay. And, then and don't tell me I don't have any battery in this one. I don't have battery in that one, damn it. Okay. Is there a blinking that happens? Yeah, it blinks, uh, it blinks. So... Okay, never mind. Yeah, um, can you so, open them and show the battery? Yeah, and... so each of them are Bluetooth low energy, so it means that battery life, we're in the region of 18 months to two years, depending on the use. It's standard um, standard CR batteries, so there's a couple in the in the balls and uh, just a single one in the uh, in the tags. All of, the, all of these sensors are um, waterproof, apart from the plug, obviously. Uh, so you can put them outside and whatever. Now, it's all very cool to have information on your home, wherever you are. But what's really cool 
is when you start making the objects work together as a team and you automate your home. So here let's, uh, we've got that with the programs tool. So here we've got a simple program and this is when it detects a presence it switches on the main light automatically off when there's no presence and it does that every day and always. Now I have this set up at home and I have a weather tag that I've put outside and I do this program. I've got this set up uh, at home. I have uh, so when the temperature, when the humidity is higher than 50%, and when the temperature is lower than zero degrees, minus one is perfect. It sends a notification to my smartphone, and it does that weekdays between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. because I get up late. And so that way I know when my smartphone rings in the morning with my alarm clock, I've already got a notification there that tells me, man, you need to get up a little bit earlier, you need to de-ice the car before, before going to work. That's crazy. I mean, how many uh, possibilities are there? Thousands. It's literally limited by your imagination. I've got a colleague with a teenage son. He has the split detector on his front door, so it, sets it, it, sends it, to, uh, sets it to send him an email between 3.30 p.m. and 4.30 p.m. when his son's supposed to come home from school. So, so I'd like to, uh, I'd like every time my front door is open, take a picture who's in there. Yeah, take a picture. And send to my smartphone, it'll just work. In. Yeah, if you want, you can do that, yeah. So he has it set, so it takes a, so he, he um, sends him an email when his kid's son comes home. And he has it set, so he goes back onto his system around about uh, five o'clock through his tablet. He, log he goes back onto the system and he goes to his living room, goes to the camera on his living room, takes a, takes a picture, and then he calls up his son and says, all right, finish with the Xbox, man, you need to do your homework. And so this is a special tablet here, right? Yeah, it's a special tablet. Um, normally, uh, if you're familiar with Bluetooth, you know that uh, normally on Bluetooth, you can only manage four objects to, uh, to a device. Here, we've, uh, our engineers in Paris have specially rewritten the Bluetooth stack so that we can manage upwards of 30 objects. 30? 30. Nice. Well, I say 30. Last month it was 20. This month it's, it's 30. Next month it may be 50. They're going crazy. And they're stable? And it's stable, yeah. So that means uh, when you buy the pack, you only get how many? You, when you buy the pack, you get the tablet, which has a temperature and humidity on board, and you get the, the cam and the motion ball. And that's sold at $199, or 150 euros. 150 euro, uh, $200, 200 dollars. Yeah. And uh, these? Individually. Individually, the tags and the plugs will be sold for about 20 euros or 30 dollars. And individually, the cam and the ball will be sold for uh, about 40 euros, 50 dollars. All right, so you can just add and add and you add? You can just add and add and add and make your own programs and information on your home, wherever you are, whenever you are. And compatible iOS, Android, uh, so. How soon? This will be sold starting at the end of March. So all our standard uh, retailers around the world. All over the world? Around the world, all our standard retailers are interested, so. Are you saying anything about which processors in there? It's, a, it's still a standard Android tablet, so you can do whatever you, whatever you want on it. I've got um, a colleague who's got his whole Sonos setup. Uh, installed on the tablet, so the tablet's running his uh, all of his rooms, all of his music and stuff like that. I've got a hard drive plugged into the back of mine, and it's obviously with all of the uh, USB host. Sorry, it's a yeah, it's a USB. So I've got a dongle USB host going on there. So with the Arcos applications, it's running my whole uh, home media server. So I've got all of my all of my videos, all of my photos, all of my music on there, and it's it's being my. So NAS. you can, for example, as soon as you get in, it starts uh, Pandora or. Uh, the radio, the not Google yet, Music. But we're not far from that yet. Because can you launch apps? We're through the through the smart home. You can't launch apps yet. Yet. Okay. And what's going on here? This is a microphone. We've got speaker, a speaker, speaker on the back. Speaker output. Yeah. And uh, can this work with other Bluetooth stuff? Like uh, uh, if you have a Bluetooth remote kind of device or yeah, like any Bluetooth device from yeah. the world, it'll just work on there. Yeah, it's a standard tablet still. So yeah, no problem. Cool, and uh, the future is The future is open. We'll be releasing other accessories over the next few months. 
So uh, we're already, already looking at bulbs, sirens, and... Um, sirens? What do you say? Sirens. Sirens? Sirens. Like an alarm. 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 You want an alarm? Yeah. That's cool. I mean, uh, what else? Arcus? Um, all, sorts of, all sorts of stuff. Arcus washing machine? Arcus washing machine. Well, I'm talking about the mini objects that work with the, with the smartphone. Alright, so this is it. Cool. Coming out.